large-scale tractors are used on this farm, and they all belong to Siegfried Hofreiter. He manages 125 employees and 20,000 hectares of farmland in East Germany and Lithuania. And just how much is 20,000 hectares of land? Well, for a start, that's 200 square kilometers. Think of the distance between Berlin and Hamburg. Well, it might be easier to think of it in terms of football fields. It's an area the size of about 33,000 football fields. The native Bavarian used to work on a small vegetable farm. After an internship in the USA, he only had eyes for big tracts of land. No more small stuff. Farming on larger expanses of land gives you a great sense of freedom. You get to live a little of the modern cowboy dream in it. More than half of the land cultivated is done so organically, which means no synthetic fertilizers or toxins are used. Hofreiter is one of the first farmers to do organic farming on such a large scale. His farms can produce large quantities of organic grain. A phone call from Lithuania where the harvest is about to start. We start the harvest in the south, in Leipzig. Then we literally thresh our way northwards, harvesting along the Baltic Sea to Greifswald. On the island of Rügen, we take a ferry from Zasnitz. Twenty hours later, the combines are harvesting in Lithuania. Hofreiter likes what he sees in Lithuania, vast open land. Can you drive this thing? You bet I can. <laughs> a rough start. And it was the same with his business at first. Stocks in his company lost value from the moment they were offered. Stock exchange speculators did some fast math and assessed that agricultural subsidies from the EU accounted for most of Hofreiter's annual profits. This was a company on the open market living off of taxpayers' money. This won't work forever, they said. If the agricultural subsidies cease in the year 2014, we'd be looking at three to four million euros less inflow than we have now, and we wouldn't make a profit anymore. Whoever did that math was way off on his prognosis. First of all, you can't forget that farming subsidies are closely tied to grocery prices. If you start to reduce the subsidies, then grocery prices will rise accordingly. Hofreiter isn't worried. He's convinced that higher grocery prices will mean more money for farmers. <laughs> <laughs> this elderly lady is supplementing her meager pension by leasing her farmland to Hofreiter. Maintaining contact and good relations with the locals is important to Hofreiter. And because the Germans always pay on time, everyone in the village has either leased or even sold their land to him. It's time to increase revenues, which means acquiring more agricultural land. That land is a limited resource. We're at the fore in Eastern Europe, where large-scale agricultural restructuring is taking place, and it'll give us a solid basis for long-term high yields and profits. Hofreiter plans to expand for the next two years, then perhaps he'll have enough land and big machines.